These four overseas residents of Fukuoka have become good friends. They're about to visit and see, with non-Japanese eyes, a destination where they'll search out the sights. I would like to experience that kind of things that only can be experienced on an island. And I really would like to eat a lot of good food. The four members are heading for Iki. Richly endowed with nature, Iki lies in the Genkai Sea between the Asian mainland and Japan. Featuring numerous distinctive sightseeing spots, Iki is an ideal place to fully enjoy a tour of historic sites, exploration of nature, marine sports, hot springs, local delicacies, and more. What kind of trip will the four friends have on Iki? Amazing Island, Iki! Fukuoka City in northern Kyushu is a transportation hub with services that include air routes and the Shinkansen. Iki is 76 kilometers, or about one hour by jet foil, from Hakata Port in Fukuoka City. Made up of 29 large and small islands, Iki is located in the Genkai Sea, between Kyushu and the Korean Peninsula. The main island, or Iki Island, is 17 kilometers from north to south, 15 kilometers from east to west, and shaped like a snowflake. Transportation for sightseeing on Iki is fully covered by buses, rental cars, and tourist taxis. There are also Iki Chari, rental power-assisted bikes, which offer a ready means to roam everywhere. The island is also well provided with accommodation facilities, so you can just relax and enjoy the sights. The four friends arrive for their first ever visit to Iki. What kind of discoveries will the girls make? Iki is home to fine foods brimming with the bounty of nature. First of all, Iki beef, one of the best known brands of Wagyu or Japanese beef. Iki beef is produced from traditional Japanese black cattle raised in mineral-rich sea breeze-blown pastures in the midst of the island's rich natural environment. Other delights include bokakedon, a simple yet luxurious dish that brings out the full flavor of sea urchin. Fresh marine produce from the surrounding seas, and iki shochu, endowed with a special taste, as you would expect from the home of barley shochu. Sea candle making is one popular experience that can be enjoyed. You can make your own one-of-a-kind candle using seashells and sand as a great reminder of your visit to Iki. Various cooking experiences can also be enjoyed on Iki. For example, you can prepare tofu, which is attracting a lot of attention as a healthy food, or make salt from seawater. Iki tofu is known for its large size and firm consistency. Such experiences allow you to study island cooking while getting to know the local people. Another possibility is to enjoy a seafood barbecue after experiencing squid or boat fishing. There are also many spots for marine sports, such as diving, sea kayaking, and even banana boating. These and more than 70 other kinds of experiences offered at locations around Iki also provide chances to feel the warmth of the island people. Hi.
楽しかったね楽しかった,かった<笑> Iki's many old streets give a sense of having been transported back in time 勝本浦 Shopping Street is home to a morning market that starts at a little after 8 With homegrown vegetables and marine products such as small fish and dried foods arranged in rows in front of the shops. This is Katsumoto Ura's morning market, which started in the Edo period and continues to the present day. Exchanging greetings and a few words of conversation with local people as you shop might just be the highlight of your trip to Iki. Iki Kagura is a profoundly sacred, ritualistic art. It differs from Kagura staged in other areas in that both dancing and music are performed solely by Shinto priests. It is also designated as an important intangible folk cultural property by the Japanese government. Iki, an island shrouded in mystery, has many power spots, such as Tsukiyomi Shrine, said to be dedicated to the gods of Japan's ancient myths. And Kojima Shrine, which can be visited only at low tide when the sea parts to reveal the approach. These shrines create an air of calm, a sense that the island is being protected by gods. Since ancient times, Iki has prospered as a point of exchange, linking Japan with the Asian continent. You can learn about Iki's history at Ikikoku Museum. On display here are around 2,000 relics excavated from sites around Iki, including the Harunotsuji ruins, designated by the Japanese government as a national historic site. In the Harunotsuji ruins section on the first floor, buildings that existed in Harunotsuji, once a royal capital, and the lives of people who lived there have been elaborately recreated as models based on the results of excavation surveys. Present day Harunotsuji Park has been identified as the seat of the Sea Kingdom of Ikikoku, which appears in Gishi Wajinden. A passage in a Chinese classical historical book written around 2,000 years ago. Many buildings, including the sacred Shusai Den and Hiraya Waki Den, have been recreated in the park. There are also many other historical sites, including large numbers of tumuli filled with the intrigues of ancient times that make you think of the drama of the history of Iki, once an important point of exchange. <laughs> Iki is home to Yunomoto Hot Springs, which have a history that extends back more than 1,500 years. The hot springs are close to Yunomoto Bay, whose islands are set aglow by the evening sun. The hot springs are said to be beneficial for women hoping to have children. The salt spring water here relieves the tiredness of travel. The four friends are now headed for Kurosaki Peninsula in the western part of the island. Located at the tip of Kurosaki Peninsula is a huge 45 meter high basaltic sea cliff. Equivalent to the height of a 15 story building or the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. This rock formation looks just like a monkey turning sideways, from which it gets its name of Saruiwa or monkey rock. You can't help but be amazed by this capricious form created by nature. Next to Monkey Rock and situated on a low hill are the ruins of Kurosaki Fort, which was the largest gun battery in the east. Iki's more than 10 swimming beaches include Tsutsukihama Swimming Beach, selected as one of the best 100 beaches in Japan, 
and befitting an island, it also abounds with natural formations such as Sakyobana at the tip of the Yahata Peninsula and Oni no Ashiato, or Devil's Footprint. The variety of events held throughout the year provide for full enjoyment of Iki's nature, history, and food. Haru Ichiban, the year's first strong southern wind heralding the arrival of spring, originates in Iki and is marked by various events and markets. Summer events are centered on enjoyment of nature. Autumn brings traditional festivals to celebrate the harvest, as well as sports competitions. While cheerful winter events chase away the cold. With Iki's wide-ranging appeal, you'll want to come back again and again. お出迎えします。息は歴史がとっても深い島ですよ。息には見どころや観光地がいっぱいあります。ぜひ息に来てみ。I really enjoyed myself. The scenery was beautiful and everyone was so friendly. It's definitely a place I recommend. Come to Iki Island. So, what did the girls discover on their trip to Iki? Sea, sky, greenery, beautiful natural formations. Everything you see has living history and culture. Nature's bounty concentrated into delicious food. Iki, overflowing with inspiring sights and smiling faces.